Strictly Comics is now accepting books for pressing and cleaning services. For deals and promotions, go to Facebook at Strictly Comics. Click the services tab for pricing and get a free quote. What's going on, everybody? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics. And I'm at home right now. It's really too cold outside. I did not feel like doing a video in my car like I usually do. Um, yeah, cold in Houston. Who would have thought? It's like freaking 40 degrees. And then tomorrow it's going to be like 70. Anyways, uh, <laughs> sorry, a little, today's just been kind of a frustrating day, just really dumb, unnecessary things happening, so, but anyways, uh, forget my janky setup, microphone, who cares, I just want to get something out, because I'm getting ready to go to the North Texas comic book show, uh, Friday, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have Freestyle Friday on Friday, and I'm not gonna have time to really do anything else, I do hope to get footage of the, uh, the show, and we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to put something out there. If you're new to subscribing, make sure you ring that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I really appreciate it. Um, and then, of course, check us out every Friday, 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern with myself and Jose from Comics and Stuff. We're kind of chopping up Freestyle Friday, talking about stuff. I'm, I may, my goal for for freestyle friday a week from this friday is probably gonna do a star wars the last jedi review rant whatever you want to call it i know i'm pretty late on the train but there's just so much material <laughs> to talk about so that's kind of what i hope to do but anyways let's get into these books i got uh new books from today that i picked up i got some uh, back issues from somebody who I'm doing some pressing for. His books are going to be sent out probably tomorrow. So I want to get them in a video real quick. And then I got an unboxing. Haven't done an unboxing in quite a long time. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, here's the bag for books that I picked up this week. And here's a bag right here. Ugh. got a little flyer handout for oh wow so if you've never been to the dallas fan expo uh in texas dallas texas it is probably the best comic book show they they have two or three of them a year they are they are by far the best comic book show that i've ever been to yeah even even better than houston which is kind of a shame because houston is the fourth largest city in the world in the u.s much larger than uh, Dallas, but yet Dallas seems to put on a much better Comic Con show, comic book show than than Houston can. So maybe 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 Comic Palooza can take some notes. Uh, anyways, really looking forward to this. Michael J. Fox. A whole bunch of people is going to show up. I'm not going to really show all that right now. Um, books that I picked up for today: new comic books. Uh, Batman number forty. Think you guys can see that. Um, Still far behind, but whatever. What are you going to do? I'm going to keep buying Batman because it's Batman. And it's only $2.99, so not a big deal. If it was 4 bucks or 5 bucks, I probably would, would start looking to eliminate them from my pull because I just refuse to pay that much for comics. Well, I, I don't refuse. I just very, very seriously dislike paying that much for it. Uh, Venom 161, Tangled Webs Part 1 of 1. I don't know who this female chick is, but it's a really cool looking Venom cover. Again, I'm really far behind on Venom, uh, but I will get caught up because I was thinking about it the other day. And I'm not really that far behind, so it wouldn't really take me long to get caught up. But um, And we got our first uh, Ven uh, Venom movie poster today, if you guys haven't checked it out. I haven't posted on Instagram, but I may post on Instagram just to kind of put it out there. But I posted it on Comic Book Fanatics, and uh, it's 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 getting out there because it's the same day as well that we got the Deadpool 2 trailer drop with uh, with Cable. So that's really neat. Uh, but that's it. That's all the new comic books that I picked up this week. But because that's all that I got, I went ahead and picked up some back issues. Uh, my LCS got in. A pretty nice uh, kind of this collection and these need to be rebagged and boarded but I literally just came home with them not too long ago tales of the Teen Titans number one let me hold it like this 
I had this at one point before. Um, and I think I gave it away for free to Jeff Johnson from the New York Warriors. And this was like before, or just after we were getting our first uh, exposure of uh, Cyborg on the screen. So, uh, but I picked up another one. I got all these for like $2, which is really, really more than I wanted to pay. I, I really don't think they're more than a dollar a piece in my opinion, but they're all in really, really, really high grade. So... I went ahead and picked them up and I'll probably press and get them slabbed because, uh, yeah, because they're definitely worth it. Uh, excuse me. This is another one people are like looking for. Uh, number two. So I got the whole four issue set. This is, I guess, uh, I guess it's like an origin of everybody. Origin of, uh, Cyborg. This is the origin of Raven. And... I got this one, which I guess is the origin of Beast Boy. Not really a fan of the Teen Titans, but I know people out there are. So, I don't know. I mean, and plus they're really high grade, so it's 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 fine. And then this one I've seen is actually becoming a little bit popular and maybe like the most expensive or the one that's worth the most out of the four. Uh, kind of an origin of Starfire. I really wish I had my setup so that you guys could. You remember when I used to do the uh, show the comic like half the the screen? I just didn't feel like going through all that right now. So, but anyway, <laughs> um, and then I got these, which ain't nothing special, but I was missing from the from the run. Uh, Venom Part Two. This is the origin, first appearance, whatever you want to call it, of the Venom like super steroid that Bane uses. This was just before we got an introduction to Bane. This is number one. So now I got a complete five issue run. This is my second run. This one is gonna be for sale. Um, the other one I got is for me for my own personal collection. Uh, and then of course, part five, Batman fights a shark. <laughs> I'm like looking at that cover like for real, Batman. Like you're getting down with a shark like that, and then how he's got his his hands right at the bottom jaw, bottom part of the the shark's jaw. I'm thinking like, dude, there's no way you're strong. You're you're strong enough to hold uh, a shark's mouth open. Like there's just no way. To... <laughs> oh man, but anyways, it's comics, right? It's comic books. And the last book I picked up for $2, which I probably paid too much for this. But uh, first, now this is the first full appearance of Cable. That 282 that you guys keep overpaying for, I will never, ever pay what people are asking for that because it's not his first appearance. He is on the cover, but he doesn't show up until the very last page. So it's a cameo. Even uh, CGC recognizes this as the first full appearance of Venom. Y'all quit overpaying for books. Y'all don't even know what y'all are doing, man. But it's in really high grade. Yeah, I paid $2 for it, which I guess it's worth it. Um, I may get the slab. I don't know. But I didn't pick up a lot for new comic book day Wednesday. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just pick up some back issues, see what he's got. Uh, so I got that. Um, Now let's get into the back issues. This is some really cool stuff right here, man. Oh yeah, baby. Y'all can't see this, can you? No, you can't. Uh, in no particular order, I press this for somebody. X-Men number uh, 50. That's a really nice book right there, man. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Oh man, that's so nice. This has already been cleaned and pressed. Um, I mean, the condition of this book, in my opinion, it's got some pretty heavy creasing. I probably put this like best case scenario, maybe a fine, fine plus. And I think it, I think it's accurate. Best case, best case scenario. Uh, then I got this right here. Oh, we all know what this is. Uh, especially since we got our trailer dropped this morning for number two. Good old DP. Deadpool. 
right? This book is clean. This book isn't like near mint. This is probably uh, it's so sharp, man. It's it's at least a 9.4. I'm not going to take it out and look at the bag, but it's in really, really high grade. And then I got uh, another one of these. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny because if you watch my videos over the past, I don't know, four or six weeks, you can see what's hot and what people are wanting to get pressed and graded um, by the movies that are coming out because I'm, I'm thinking like movie, movie, right? Let's see what else I got. Um, potential movie. Uh, Fantastic Four number 48. First appearance of Silver Surfer, right? First Silver Surfer. I was told that this is not the first appearance of The Watcher. And then I, I think that um, uh, first Galactus and Cameo, I think. So we got this. This one is in probably, I mean, this one's, this one's kind of, it, it, I mean, I'm not going to take it out or anything, but I probably wouldn't put this higher than like a, uh, I mean, me personally, I wouldn't put this between like a five, maybe a five and a half. It's, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell these mid grade books from you. And then I also got, oh, another movie. <laughs> uh, New Mutants number 87. All these are going to be going to the owner's home here and probably probably tomorrow. Because I need to get them out before I head out to Dallas. This one's a really nice high grade, though. I mean, I, I really got this thing looking good. I mean, this to me is... That spine looks really nice. Just from the cover, it's probably a 9698 copy. And then last of the back issues that I got. Uncanny 101. Uh, this is a really nice, nice grade right here as well. It's funny because I actually pressed uh, two of these at the same time. One of them was mine. And uh, I, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't figure out which one was mine and which one was the uh, was the owner's, but I figured it out. So uh, he, he had the nicer one for sure. So uh, mine was pretty close though. Um, but this, this book in this condition is probably, it's at least a VF plus, at least. I would probably think more like a 9.0, 9.2 maybe. It, it's up there guys, it's definitely up there in high grade, so. But that's it. That's all that I got. I got a quick unboxing, quick unboxing <laughs> uh, that I'm going to do real quick um, that I'm going to do. Hopefully it'll be real quick. So let's go ahead and get right into it. No, oh, well, this isn't the book that I wanted. That I was thinking about. Okay, so <laughs> this this is not the book that I thought it was. It's in the other package. So maybe we'll save that one for an unboxing later, or maybe I'll do a quick video tomorrow using that book to talk about my um, buying on Instagram and Facebook purchase. Uh, this is what I got. Amazing 238. This is the first appearance of the Hobgoblin. I think we all know what this is. Okay, he says it has the tattoos in it. So let's check real quick. See if it does have the tattoos. He, uh, I think he said it was like a VF copy, VF, and it probably is that. It's kind of beat up. It's got quite a few spine ticks, which I guess is something that even a clean, a, a presser and a cleaner can't really do much about. 
Um, I gotta be honest, looking at this book, if I wasn't cleaning or pressing, I probably would not have given him what I paid for it, but it's fine. Um, yeah. But, I mean, I knew when I bought this book I was going to clean it and press it, so it's, it's, it's whatever. Okay, so, yep, I got, uh, I think there's two. There's a front and a back. Okay, so it has the tattoos uh, ad. So we're good. So right now it's probably like a $60 book. I'm hoping that after I clean it and press it, it'll probably be about a $100 book. We'll see. But this is the book that I definitely wanted uh, because, uh, you know, you know, you just always want it, but you never want to pay what, you know, what people are asking for because everybody always wants more than what something is worth. So, uh, but, you know, maybe I'll do before and after results of this uh, pressing it. It's definitely, in my opinion, not in the grade that he said it was in. This is definitely much lower grade. He said that this is like a VF, VF plus. I'd have to look at the post again, but this is more like a VG fine. Yeah, this this isn't nowhere near the grade that. And you know we need to talk about that one day. We need to talk about that. But you know, again, lucky for him, I clean and press because I'd be very disappointed with this purchase, to be honest with you. So whatever, but I got it. That's it, everybody. It's all that I got. Uh, this video is going on much longer than I really wanted it to. Please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Uh, keep God first in your life and enjoy your comic books. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye.